Hi, and welcome to this Crazy Talk 7 Pro video tutorial on how to use the transform keys to move your character about and also how to simulate camera movements with the same transform keys. So the first thing we need to do is choose an actor. So I'll go into the content manager, actor, model, and I will choose one of the new bouncing buddies we have. <clears throat> we'll choose Jeff. So there's two types of animations we can create. One, where we have a fixed camera and we're moving our character about. Or the next one where I will have my character, a static character, um, and I will try to simulate camera movements by moving the same character again. And I can do this by scaling him, okay? So let's try the first one where we have a static camera. So in order to do that, we need to set a reference point. And the best way is to go into backgrounds or import your own and place it in the back, okay? So now we have a, a visual reference point. And now I will move my character all the way to the left, just outside of the stage. And I can open the timeline here, okay? So right there where we have this eye icon, I'll keep a mental note that this is the boundary of my, uh, of my animation. If I close the timeline, I can also set that, that frame size. If I go to export, I can choose the frame size inside. Okay, different dimensions. But I wish to just leave the original one. Okay, so let's go to timeline. So now we have the transform track right here in the timeline. Remember, we only have this in the pro version. So what I need to do is set in a keyframe. We have the initial keyframe right here at time zero. Okay, my character is outside of the boundary. So now I will move the time scrub forward and I will bring in my character. Then I'll move the time scrub forward again. Then have my character touch the ground. Forward again. Character up in the air. Forward again. Up in the air. Forward again. Touch the ground. Forward and he's leaving the scene. Okay, and he's out of the scene now. If I would like to make sure he's out, I can close the timeline and I can see he's out. Great, now I will stop this and before I, or I, I play this back, I will move the time range marker, this one right here, and you will see it, it will appear down in the timeline. You can see it appearing right there and I will move it right to 45. Okay, so I can manually drag my animation, bounce, up, bounce, and out. And I can play this back, bounce, bounce, great. If you would like to speed up your animation, you just have to reduce the space in between these keyframes. And um, likewise, if you would like to make your animation slower, just increase the space in between. Okay, so what else can we do? Well, I can add some other special effects. Let's say when my character touches the ground, I can try to enlarge it a bit, okay? And if I move the time script forward, in the second, uh, the, the following time frame, uh, keyframe, I'm sorry, he will resize to the original scale. And then I go back and I do it again, okay? So it'll simulate sort of a bouncy feeling when, when he touches that keyframe. So let's see, bounce, bounce, and that's it, pretty good. Now, what else can I do? I can drop in an audio file. Let's see, I have a bounce, a boing wave here. We can try to use this one. And just create a listen note to it. Okay, let's trim this here. I will break, we'll get rid of this one, delete. Okay, let's see what it sounds like. Let's try to anticipate it. I can also try to speed it up or reduce it. Okay, a bit late, I think. Okay, and I can try to copy it and place it on the next one. Let's move these in. Let's see. And there we go. That looks like a pretty good animation, and it only took like 30 seconds. Okay. So the next one we would like to do is um, uh, simulating a camera that's moving. So what we need to do here now is I will control N and I will open a new project. No, I don't wish to save. I will open my same, bring up my same character. 
And this time around, I will use the transform keys to move my camera about and we will my character about and I want to simulate as if the camera is moving. So for this, I want to bring in a voice script. I think I have a Japanese monologue in here right there. And let's choose talk mode. Nani? Oh, domate. Okay. Let me open the timeline. And I will cut off this the rest of this. I will break and delete. Okay. And I will also create a puppet clip. So let's go up here. And I will choose profile youthful. And let's choose smiley. Let's see what this looks like. Let's choose general. Okay, that'll work. So let's record. Nani? Oh, Chodomate. And we're done. So we have our puppet clip at the bottom, and I can close this. Again, the voice script and the puppet clip is just purely for, for aesthetic purposes. We don't need that, but um, I just want to make it look nice. So here, let me zoom in. And we have the first uh, vocalization here, where he says, Nani, and he's looking towards the right. So right here, we have the initial uh, transform key that has um, his initial uh, position and scale. So I will, I, I wish to maintain that up to this point. So there's two ways I can do this. I can copy this keyframe and I can paste it over here or better yet, I can, I just need to double click in that space and we have that keyframe. Uh, it's been automatic, ma automatically set in. So, Nani? okay, Nani and right about there, I wish to have him move towards the left. Okay, and I will scale him. So let's try. Nani? Okay. And then he says his next part. Let's try that again. Nani? Oh. Okay. So right there, I wish to have the same keyframe we previously had. So I can copy this or I can just double click and then I will move him to the other side. So let's see. Nani? Oh. Okay. And then at the end, Chodomate. I wish to have him centered. So I will double click here to have the previous keyframe and then just bring him forward. Just like that. And if I play this back, and there we go. And that's how easy it is to use the transform keys to simulate camera movements in Crazy Talk 7. Now remember, if you want to create um, a, a scenario where you have a fixed camera, it's always good to have a background as a reference. If you do not wish to do that, leave a clean background, okay? And this will help you um, simulate that effect. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy the other tutorials.